Hello, today we'll be looking at histograms. So first thing you're probably wondering is what is histogram? Well, there's a picture of one on the screen and you can see it's a type of bar chart. But unlike bar charts, histograms do not have gaps between them. The reason for that is um, we use histograms for continuous data, whilst bar charts are used for discrete data. Um, what else is different? Notice that the bars are of varying widths. Um, whilst on a bar chart, the widths of bars will be the same. Here you can see clearly they're all different widths. And the reason for that is the area of a bar is what tells us the frequency. So if you think about a bar chart, it's the height of the bar, which will tell you um, which, uh, which bar is more common. Here it's the area. And because of that, the height does not tell us the frequency. Like I said, it's the area. So if you look on the y-axis, you probably notice we have something called a frequency density instead of frequency. So we use frequency density instead of frequency, and you're probably wondering what that is. And it is the frequency divided by the class width. So the frequency is the number of items of data. Number of items. Whilst the class width is simply the width of the category. So you can see here it goes from half to two and a half, two and a half to four and a half, four and a half to six and a half, six and a half to nine and a half, nine and a half, to 13 and a half. So the class widths would be two, 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 three, and four. You can just spotted a mistake. There's two bars there. So each of these would be one and one. Yeah, so that's the class width. So when we say the class width is the width of the interval. So let's just put that into practice and draw a histogram. Um, so we have the data below, and I'm just going to sum up what we have. So from earlier, which is the frequency density equals frequency divided by class width. If we do a formula triangle, it will be FD frequency class width. So firstly, we're going to look at the bars and just see what the widths of them are. That's the first thing to do. So we need to know the widths of these. So the gap 40 to zero has a gap of 40, 50 to 40 has a gap of 10, 50 to 60 is 10, 30 and then 20. So obviously I've just subtracted the smaller number from the bigger number. And then we can use that to draw, we can then use that to draw the frequency density. So we can add a frequency density column and just do those basic um, calculations. Yes, yeah, so we will have, let me get that back up. We have, Frequency density is frequency over class width. So the first one will be 80 divided by 40, then 15 divided by 10, 25 divided by 10, 90 divided by 30, 30 divided by 20. So we've figured out the frequency densities. Now all that is left to do is for us to draw the bars. So we will need the variable on the x-axis, which here was speed. And on the y-axis, we want frequency density. So the biggest frequency density we had was three, and we had the speed going from naught to 110. So when we label that, we will label it accordingly. And on the y-axis, we've got frequency density. So our first bar had a frequency density of two. 
The next bar had a width of 40 to 50 and a frequency sensor of 1.5. The next one went from 50 to 60 and had a frequency sensor of two and a half. And then we had 60 to 90 and a frequency sensor of three. And the final one was, 100, was 90 uh, kilometers per hour to 110. And that had a frequency density of 1.5. So that is the introductory lesson, lesson to histograms. I've hoped you'd enjoyed it. Take care.